Hey there gang, good to see you. We have a lot to track in today's tropical update. For starters, we now have Invest 91L. It's a disturbance, it's been officially recognized with a number because it's formally being tracked. I think now is the time we have to start being aware in the Leeward Islands, the Northern Lesser Antilles, and perhaps Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands too. No action yet, just let's be aware. Now our disturbance is a few hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. It's moving west-northwest pretty slowly at about 5-10 miles per hour. On satellite, we can see it has more convection, more shower and thunderstorm activity. We're also noticing at the lower levels a little bit more of an organized swirl. That's a sign the system is starting to develop and organize a little bit better. Last night, we also had something called a scatterometer pass overhead. A scatterometer is an instrument mounted on a satellite that basically goes over, looks down, can see the ocean waves, and from that ascertain what the surface winds are doing. And if we take a look at this plot from late last night, early this morning, we can see indeed there is some semblance of a closed low-level circulation. And now that we have this somewhat cohesive low-level center, that will allow the rest of the storm to organize more efficiently. Granted, it's kind of broad, it's kind of stretched out, it's kind of diffuse and elongated, but it's there. Now we do anticipate slow but steady intensification as this moves west-northwest in the coming days. Granted, there are a lot of wild cards, particularly with regard to A, how quickly it develops, and B, when it starts to curve. Wild card number one. It's fending off some dry air at the mid-levels. Will it be able to insulate itself with moisture and kind of form this little moist pocket, or will that dry air become entrained into the circulation and erode thunderstorms, therefore weakening the system? We're not really sure yet. Number two, in about four or five days, this system will encounter stronger mid-level winds that might try to knock the storm out of balance. And if that happens, then weakening would be possible or strengthening would be slowed. Unsure yet. And number three, way high in the upper atmosphere over the central Atlantic, we had this sort of dip in the winds. We call this a tropical upper tropospheric trough. Now that can A, influence steering currents, but B, also potentially knock the system out of balance. Remember, changing winds aloft can kind of bug the system, irritate it a little bit, and disrupt it. And so that could play a role in the forecast too. We also don't know yet how quickly our storm curves on the backside of the Bermuda High. The Bermuda High is like a force field, and ultimately it's suppressing the system until the storm gets to its backside, then it starts to curve. Now, if this system remains weaker in the short term, it'll just continue trekking westwards, surfing the trade winds and likely ending up closer to the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles. But if it gets stronger in the short term, meaning more thunderstorms, the system will be a little bit taller because thunderstorm clouds are tall. And a taller system would be almost like in a sailboat hoisting its sails. It would feel the upper level winds and start to be blown. And in this case, a stronger, taller system would be blown north and we'd see a quicker curve. Google's DeepMind artificial intelligence model does suggest a continued westward track, weaker in the short term, then potentially more impactful to land in the medium to long term. That's something on the table. At this point, there are a lot of wild cards. As we've said, confidence is low. I think we'll know more over the weekend. Check back on my social media, my radar social media on Saturday for more updates. Until then, we're just keeping tabs on it because that's what we do. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci. Follow my radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.